When I first came across goals, it was news to me at the ripe old age of 33 that I could want something, that I could plan to go get it, and that I could put that plan into action. Complete and utter news. That was my big revelation, my epiphany, my aha moment. The next thing that happened was I set all these unreasonable, irrational goals that I really didn't want or I wasn't sure that I wanted because I didn't know how to do it. I was a newbie at it. So we talk about kissing frogs. I mean, as, as, as a metaphor, I had to try out some goals that didn't matter to me. So you got to work through because I was rusty at I didn't know what I wanted. So that freezes up a lot of people. That's why we talk about action. With the universe rewards what? Action. Movement. Action, same thing. And punishes inaction. It, it, it will not come, it, the universe will not come down and take you by the hand and lead you from the little camp you've set out, up on the path of life. You, you are quite welcome to spend the rest of your days there mired in what, whatever situation you're in now and, and never, never moving an inch. But if you're going to move, you got to do it. You got you to find out what, what plays for you. You know, it's kind of like people that aren't sure about, I mean, you know, people get put on the spot. You know, people don't like coming up here and they get nervous. Uh, public speaking is still the number one fear, right? And they come up and you get really nervous. And you can see this on game shows and stuff. And they just, people freeze up and they don't, they can't even access their own wants and desires because they're unclear on it. And they can't even clearly elucidate things. So you start, you got to start, you got to break through that. If you're not, if you're not clear on what you want or where you want to go, I think that's excellent news because you get to now start at the beginning of the adventure where it's kind of exciting. You know, when, when, when you make your, your, your million bucks, it will not be as exciting to you as that first check that comes in from the, your own sweat, blood, and, and tears. Does that make sense? Well, I'm, I'm no, Mike. I'm pretty good. I already have a few websites and action. I've been taking a lot of action. Just I, There's many different ways I could. I could focus on doing more video marketing or the PPC whole bunch of things just maybe Stan know. Stan had had the answer to that that yesterday it was just yeah. pick one thing and do it you yeah. don't have to follow through to completion like the book that you decide you don't need boom bounce it off two walls into the trash you get into video and you decide you know this isn't really gonna help or you test it you know online you can test it you know this kind of hits right in your wheelhouse doesn't it James yeah I was just sitting here thinking I know the answer to this one um, comes back to your filter like what are you actually trying to get so you just score every opportunity. So for me, I just put it all up on a whiteboard and then I, I look along. And there you go. go. And I'll go, right, that thing there, that's my biggest opportunity right now. And then I just zone in on it. But the other thing is, you're talking about you know, video and PPC. That's just traffic. So maybe just chunk it out into um, content, traffic, and conversions. Maybe just like split it into those big macro groups. And then from those, I'll pick where should you be working right now and then inside there is like, you know, it's like John's book. <laughs> There's lots of little subsets. So I might be running 140 different traffic channels, uh, but maybe someone else is interested in just getting their first traffic channel up and running. Does that help? And also, uh, 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 Shramko uh, spurred something else in my head. When, when, we're fa when I'm faced with a, a, a potential conflict or a problem or something, and actually Stan and I went through this and we were planning a lot of the stuff, just do the old basic, we'll draw a line down, the, down, a, down a page and do your pros and cons. What's good about this idea? What can, what's bad about this idea? What don't I understand? What do I understand? How is this fit into my, my wheelhouse, as I call it, or my strengths? How does this play up to my failure? Uh, of, of fear of, of failure, things like that. When, when, when you do your listing on the things, is that what you're doing? Are you, are you assigning a, a scale of one to 10 or something? What was it you were doing? Yeah, I score it. So, uh, you know, I go back to my filter, you know, is it, does it have recurring payoff or is it a one Oh, that's right. There were three, three, three points it had to meet. What yeah, were like they? There's, a, there's a bunch of things. I mean, I sort of know them off by heart, but you know, do I really absolutely love it so much that I want to wake up tomorrow and do this again? There does you it go. have a long-term payoff? Are there other things that could lead to this? And I should mention, I do have like a secret weapon, is uh, I bounce these things off my wife. And I say, what do you think about this? Or what do you think about that? And she'll go, you know, you don't like that at all. And I go, yeah, you're right. I don't like that. <laughs> and she'll go, you know, I think you I think you'd do really well with that. And so I'll go in that direction. So just someone who knows you well, uh, that can give you a, another perspective, 
You know, I'm not saying go out to 15 people. I'm talking about one person, perhaps, who will be honest, like brutally, like John Carlton honest to you. Uh, <laughs> that'll tell you whether, you know, whether you're on the right track or not. So you can step outside and then get back into it. But once yeah. I decide on something, like nothing's going to stop me getting that done so that I can move it out of the way. I want to rub it off the whiteboard. Right.